people. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta watch us get stung in real time. I know. Uh, welcome back. If you've been here before, if you're stumbling across uh, the show from a weird rabbit hole, this is hashtag, hashtag just, just saying. saying. And while we're prostituting ourselves, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. You hit the notification bell like it owes you money. It will let you know when we upload new content. Yes. You can uh, not hit that button, but you can watch the first 40 on the YouTubes. Listen, we're streaming things. Stream. We have a pre-show banter video on TikTok, and we do a Trivia Tuesday, but not this week. Uh, and I think we that's a man short. Yeah. Man down! I think that's about it. Because if we did it, I'd get them all right. Oh! <laughs> Unlike last week. Yeah, I know, you killed me. <laughs> Eight to four. I was like, damn. Well. I got smoked. I, uh. Weird questions, too. I, uh, <laughs> some of them were, yeah. Like, oh. Well, I had a very um, sheltered childhood, so. <laughs> I guess so. I had nothing to do. A lot of dates, like 1988. I'm like, what? Yeah, well, the dates throw me because yeah. I don't, I don't remember things that way. Um, Something that is, in 192, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Oh, 1492. 1492, was it? Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Oh. Yeah. Okay. But that doesn't help help <laughs> with what it was he was talking I about. Know, like, with whatever the questions were. They were odd. I was on vacation this week. How was it? Glorious. <laughs> It was glorious. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you do? Uh, what? You know what? I did a little bit of everything. Okay. I have a, th uh, these little honey drop things. Ooh. Uh, you probably can't see it. Uh, it's there, honey honeys. drops. Um, they're not like they're not specifically for like if you're sick or something. They're just drops, and they have honey in the center. And I'm trying to covertly Covert. open open one up, and I simply cannot because the cellophane. It's like an old person in the movie theater where you just hear the Werther's original. <laughs> like, oh, finally I got it. Spectacular. Or when the garbage truck comes by. All this week, yep. there were people working in the lot across from my house. Really? Kind yeah. Of what were they doing? I don't know, but it was loud. <laughs> yeah. Like jackhammers. <laughs> uh, well, no, it was more like, uh, I don't know what, they were knocking down trees or what they were doing. Uh, the clearing brush? Chain tiles. Hmm. It was just annoyingly loud. Damn. That's what I said. Woke you up early every day? Hmm. Yeah. But, I mean, it's not like I'd planned to sleep until noon. Yeah. I had stuff to do. I sure did. What'd you do? What did I do? <laughs> well, and then you mowed the lawn. <laughs> uh, today I mowed the lawn. Yeah. That was exciting. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Doesn't sound that exciting. No, it's really not. But you didn't you mow your lawn I did too? too yes. So it was a it was a greenery day. Yes, it was. Everybody was out doing it. I started. I mowed the lawn. I, start, I always start with the back, and then I go obviously, and I mow the front. And I got out to the front yard, and I'm mowing. All of a sudden, the engine starts kind of puttering. Uh -oh. It's like pa 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 pa. Out of so gas. Now I'm starting to get nervous because I'm like, "What the hell's wrong with this thing? <laughs> What's gonna happen now? Catch fire." So I did, yeah. So I'm like, and it just sputters and dies in the middle of my front lawn. Damn. So I'm like, you know, there's nothing. You can't turn the keys. Nothing happening. So I pull the, it's a rider mower, by the way. So I pull the blade up and I get off and I go and I look at it and I'm like, I opened something easy. So I open up the little, <laughs> ain't got no gas ain't. the little hoodie thing. And that's the first thing I checked was the gas. And I open up the thing and I look down and it's just bone dry. Oh, yeah. Easy and I fix. Went, I said, well, yes, I'm walking. So I had to walk all the way back to, to the, the gas shed. station. <clears throat> Excuse me. No, I walked all the way back to the shed. I have a gas can. You ever run out of gas in your car? I have never run out of gas in my car, but I've been very, very close. I ran out once. I was like, damn it. I was on the highway. You misjudged, didn't you? I did. You were like, I could probably make it. Nope. 
That's a that's a first um, and last time though. <laughs> Learn your lesson. That's a tough gamble when to play. When the light comes on, get gas. That's a tough gamble to play because yeah. when the light comes on, and I have that um, the the mileage countdown. Yeah, mine too. So it'll be like you have thirty miles to empty. Mm. What I love is like I'll get More in the like car. Thirty feet. <laughs> yeah, I'll get in the car. Like what was it? We, I was going someplace last weekend. Yeah. And I didn't feel like getting gas. I don't so I feel jumped like it. I jumped in and I don't remember how much gas I had, but I look at the thing and then I look at Jay and I'm like, think we can get there and back on that? <laughs> and he looks over and he's like, Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> it's like, All right. He's a good judge. Uh eyeballs it. Yeah. As good as anybody else. Yeah, sixteenth of a tank. Yeah. Yeah, you can do that. Absolutely. Nice. So I had to, you know, walk and then put the gas in it, fi- finish the lawn. Nice. Then I went inside. I was puttering around. I uh, it's been kind of warm lately. Yeah. So I said I better fix, because I have a window AC. Mhm. So I said I better clean up the the window AC because when it sits all winter, you can't just turn it on. Yeah. You clean the filter. Yeah, you got to clean it up. I got to put mine in this weekend. So I, I cleaned the filter, and then I opened up the cover of the front. Hmm. And I put some mold stuff in there and scrubbed it out and stuff like that. Yeah. And I was like, and in the process. Green mold, black mold. <laughs> black mold. <laughs> in the process, a phone, my phone rings, and it's a friend of mine. So I'm trying to talk and do that with one hand. I ended up scraping the shit out of the top of my hand. Ah, oh, damn. And he's like, what's the matter with you? Well, because I need more hands. That's what's the matter with me. Because <laughs> you can't, on the, you know, remember on like the old house phones? Yeah. You could just cradle it on your, you know, between your neck and your thing. Not a cell phone. Give yourself a just neck cradle. Put it on speaker. Well, I had it on speaker, and then I just, I set it down, not directly where I was working, because that's too dangerous. There are some people that... Put it. I always put it on speaker. And I was like, you don't need that. Oh no, no, no! I don't. I don't do that. My dad does that. Like at the house phone, he'll call up on the speaker. Ow! <laughs> I'm like, what? The? I'm like, I don't want to hear your conversation. <laughs> <laughs> he uses all the old like thing. It's your dime. Start talking. Oh my God! Ahoy, hoy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, statue. <laughs> oh, my oh my goodness! Don't put it on speaker. I um I was in uh, I don't like when people do that in public. Oh yeah. I mean your house is one thing. Right. <coughs> but public <coughs> is another. The public is just the... I was I remember like one time I was in line at CVS and there was a dude two people up from me and we were all waiting at the pharmacy to get something. Right. And the guy's on speakerphone and he's just talking obnoxiously. <laughs> and it's nothing interesting. Never is. But He's just like, you know, he's blamoring on. And then his friend starts talking about some uh, acquaintance of theirs. Fucking Karen. No, no it's just, I don't know. Bill, and Bill's gained weight. Oh, God. Oh, no. I know. Got an intervention. So they, oh, no. they're like going on, and like people are staring at this guy like, shut the fuck up. So then he goes, people are looking at me. I got to hang up now. It's like, yes, because you're being stupid. That's why they're looking at you. Hang up and... My regards to Bill. <laughs> That's all. Give him a gym membership for his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so, Monday, I was still feeling kind of... Uh, nah. I got I got this cold. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Where'd you get the cold, Tara? <laughs> <laughs> I suspect I know where I got it. And um, the the I I thought it was just me, but I was on Reddit, and uh, under the um, in the Massachusetts topic, yeah, and there was a bunch of other people who had this very same virus. Now, it's it's messed up because one minute you'll feel like perfectly fine, it's like oh I'm on the mend, hey, and then the next minute you're like I think I'm at death's door. <laughs> And I'm like, you know, if I'm I, like, I need a priest. Yeah, <laughs> it's like I better call somebody. 
get my affairs in order. <laughs> it's like, I don't, I mean, if I'm going to be sick, just be sick. Right. But the, the moments of wellness is just a tease. Because it's like, oh, I feel better. Oh, wait, now I don't. <laughs> and I thought it was just me. You blink. Oh, shit. But there was there was a bunch of people complaining about it. It's like, I don't know what this sickness is, but it sucks. I said, yeah, it sure, sure, sure shit does. Allergies. It's not allergies. I don't have allergies. So one thing I don't have. <laughs> I have everything but it. Now. I got a laundry list of. Yeah. Illnesses. So Monday I kind of I kind of laid low because I was still feeling kind of blah. Yeah. And then Tuesday comes and I said I'm not I can't. I'm on vacation this week. I was like I can't let this whatever this shit is affect my good time. <laughs> I was like I got to figure out somehow to to manage to have a good time and relax. Despite. Despite the fact out that of I'm spite, sick. I will have a good time. I will. So I got up Tuesday. I was determined to go do something. And um, have you ever have you ever been to an Aldi? I have. You have? I think once. Yeah. It's all right. Well, Different. people. Different. People keep telling me I gotta go. You gotta go to Aldi. Oh, hit up Aldi. Okay. So. I was talking to Nikki. Is it Market Basket like the cheapest place? Uh, yeah, and I shop at Market Basket. Or Walmart. But I was talking to Nikki, and there's a there's a a British uh, cookie that I like, or biscuit as they say. Ooh. And she said, "Oh, they have an Aldi." So I was like, "Really? Do they?" Well, I'm going to Aldi then. Okay. This is great inspiration to Where's go to the Aldi. Aldi? <laughs> well, there's one in Rainham, Ooh. and there's one in Wareham. The Tale of Two Hams. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Sean would have Sean would have Ham. loved that. Ham. <laughs> So I go to the Aldi, okay. and I walk in, and I'm looking for these cookie things. I can't find them. What are they called? Uh, they're called J- uh, Jaffa Cakes. Jaffa Cakes? Jaffa Cakes. Jaffa J-A-F-F-A. Okay. Um, it's, it's not like a, a hard cookie. It's a soft cookie. Okay. Like what flavor is it? Just a um, basic cookie flavor? The, the, the basic bitch one is orange. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. But they they they've like come out with all these other fancy. It's like now they have like a cherry and a lime and all this stuff, and it has a little thin coating of of um, frosting, like a chocolate on the top. Ooh, a ganache. I guess, yeah. <laughs> but but they're quite these are good. Big words. Yeah. They guess. sound good. Killing Scrabble today. All right. So I was like. <laughs> so I went in and I was looking and I didn't see any, but I was looking around anyway because I was like, oh, people keep telling me I should check out Aldi. So I was poking around and I didn't really see anything. And I mean, I was looking at prices and they weren't too far off from what I'm paying already. So I was like, eh. All right. And a lot of it is, um, I mean, it's not, so they do have like some name, name brand stuff. Oh. Whoa. They do have like some name brand stuff, but a lot of it is just like Jeff's tortilla chips, <laughs> and it's like, what? What is this? Jeff. Jeff has his own chips now. Nice. That's good for him. Now, and I probably should have prefaced the whole thing with this, but Aldi has that thing where you put a quarter in the cart yeah. to release it from the other carts, and then you do your shopping, and when you come back. You connect it to the other carts, and then you get your quarter back. Oh, okay. So it's like a deposit to make sure <laughs> you bring the cart back. Well, how are you supposed to get the stuff to your car? Well, you you bring it to the car, and then you bring it back oh, okay. to where it goes. Because, you know, they don't want to pay somebody to go collect carts, so they have a coin <laughs> they system. They pay you instead. <laughs> yeah, essentially, with my own money. Isn't that nice? Do Canadian quarters work? I don't know. <laughs> So I gotta get rid of this damn Canadian coat. Cool. So I go into the Aldi. I did, did, couldn't find anything that I wanted, and then I come out, and this older, not old, but older lady comes up to me. There's a bee, and it's yeah. just All right. he's dive bombing us. All right, this old lady. <laughs> so she comes up to me, and she goes, "Excuse me, 
And I said, yeah. And she goes, I'm, I'm really confused about this. And I said, well, what are you confused about? Her life. I, I said that, too. I was like, well, there's a lot in life that confuses us all. And she said, well, how does this work exactly? And I said, what, like the market? <laughs> and she goes, no, the cart. And I said, well, you just put the coin in. And then, and she goes, do I get it back? And I said, well, yeah, if you bring it back to where the thing is. I mean, now, I've never even shopped here. Right. So she goes. It's a hell of a concept. <laughs> yeah. So she goes like, okay. And she goes, this is only my second time here. Nope. And she goes, this is insane. Hey, Dolores. And I said, that's all right. And she goes, I just have no idea what I'm doing. And I looked at her and I said, lady, nobody has any idea what they're doing. Nope. We are all lost souls. That's right. So she's like, you know, she thanks me. And then I said, okay. And I said, well, I'm sure there are employees inside who can help you. Should you need further assistance. <laughs> it didn't get back my quarterback. Yeah. It stole my quarter. I mean, I, I did my best. Now, the next day, yes, I went to the one in Rainham hmm. because I that's the one that that Nikki usually shops at, and I was like, maybe she saw them there, and they're just exclusive uh -huh. to that store. Jaffa cakes. So I went there. Didn't have them. Oh, sold out. So I come out, and I talked to Nikki later, and she, I said, you know, I went there to try to find those things. They didn't have them. She goes. Did you look near the bouncy balls? And I the said, I looked, balls. I looked all over the store. And she goes, you really should have checked where the bouncy balls are. Where would the cookies be in the jet bouncy I balls? I don't know why these cookies would be with the bouncy balls. <laughs> They're adjacent to the bouncy balls. She goes, they were right up front with the bouncy balls. I'm like, those are two She's things. adamant about them. <laughs> those are two things that don't belong right. on the same end cap. So I come out. I couldn't find them. Not even by the bouncy balls. And I get to my car, I hit the unlock, I'm almost, I'm reaching for the door. And excuse, I hear behind me. Excuse me. Excuse me. And I'm like, God damn it. That same old lady. No, but that would have been hilarious if it was. Hey, you shop here too? <laughs> yeah. So I, t I turn around and it's this woman and she, she now, she speed walks. To catch up. And she wasn't that far back. She speed walks, catch up, stops, and right in front of my car. Ow. And she looks at me and she goes, <laughs> Did you cry? She goes, What you do, I love it. And I was like, What? And she goes, All of this, I love it. And I was like, Okay. And she goes, The color, what you doing, I love it. And I was like, The color of your car? Yeah. Yeah. That's how it came. And she didn't paint the car. She doesn't know that <laughs> I, I didn't know, paint the saying. car. I love it. She goes, I love it. I love everything that you do. And I'm like, I love everything that I do, too. <laughs> it's like, we're in agreement. Thank I you. do lovely Thank things. You, Natasha. I thought it was funny. I was, I couldn't stop laughing and because she's like, I love it. And I'm like, I love it, too. <laughs> Thank you, stranger. <laughs> I said, thank you, ma'am. And she's like, yes. She just Compliments. <laughs> Yeah, and I was like, it's "Well, it's the little things in life." Hey, man, uh, I've been I've been working on my car. Yeah. Well, I haven't done much this week because no. I have to fix the the wrong things. Yeah. The coolant pipes. Then I get to. Uh, then yeah, I get you, to get, finish that. Uh, figure out that debacle. What? Are you gonna go take it to get the coolant pipes fixed? My nephew said he would do it. Oh, nice. He goes. uh... I'm going to have to... He has a friend who has a lift. Nice. He goes, I got to ask my friend about using his lift. So go. I said, okay. Lift's helpful. <laughs> yeah. Laying on your back on the freaking ground. Oh, yeah. I mean, Bugs I feel bad. Yeah. So I'm going to corner him this weekend. <laughs> yeah. Best of luck. <laughs> Thank you. So once that's all fixed, like, what's your next, like, upgrade? You I'm going to tint the windows. You got the lights and everything? I want to tint the windows. Nice. And 35%. I have not I have not given up on the brush bar. Right. 
slash rally bar thing. I just need to find some place to do it. The place I told you they they might might do the Yankee Yankee custom. Well, it was on my originally it was on my to do list to try to scout a place. And then I started thinking about it, and I said, well, I don't know if I want to scout a place if I don't have the the money the money to do it. Because I'm going to want to do it if I find some place to do it, and then it's going to be a whole thing. Mm-hmm. So I said, I'll, I'll wait until I fix the things that are wrong with it. Control arm, pulling pipes, what else was it? Uh, the control arm. Yeah. Because of the f- bush bushings or something, and the cooling pipes. <laughs> that was it? That's it. Three thousand though. <laughs> well, the the coolant pipe thing alone was gonna be fifteen hundred. Damn. Yeah. How was your week, by the way? Not bad. Yeah. Nice out. <laughs> I started watching that uh, that Jinx. Oh. On uh, HBO Max with the uh, Robert Durst. Uh... Robert Durst. Wow. I'm He's only, a weird dude. I'm only like four episodes in. I was like season one. I'm like. <laughs> How did this guy get away with this like so long? Twenty years it took him. To... He's rich. Like why did he, why did he dismember like, his his neighbor? That didn't make no sense. I was bored. I, just cut I, his, cut I think arm. he. It was either an argument or the guy figured out who he was. Uh, I'm not really sure. Plus, I think it's that arrogant thing where it's like he had gotten away with it with his wife. So he's like, well, I already got away with it once. Yeah. I'm sure I'll get away with it again. I have money. Yeah. He's like like the second richest person in New York or something. He was. <laughs> <laughs> if legal fees will kill you. I like how he got caught. He was stealing a hoagie from Wegmans. <laughs> he shaved his head and I'm going to go steal a, a hoagie. <laughs> well, I mean. He was hungry. <laughs> Murderers get hungry, I guess. They do. So, yeah, I so gotta, you're I gotta, only... I gotta finish watching, like, to feel like, see what happens. Oh, yeah. Because, like, I guess there's, like, a season two. And... There is. The season two is... I know he's, I know he's in real life he's dead, but, I mean... Yes. I, wanna... see. I haven't... I haven't really been watching too much. No? No. I, fin- I finished everything. Did you? Everything that I was messing around with. Speaking of finished. Yeah. Saturday Night Live, Saturday Night Live finished their 49th season. Ah. With host Jake Gyllenhaal. Ugh. My right. gosh. He's all right. He did all right. Because when I think comedy, I think Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> he did. I'm kidding. I don't. He, he did good. Did he? Yeah. All right. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't so have thought. So next season, like the big 50th. Oh, next season? Yeah. Uh, well. Let's see how that goes. I don't know. Hopefully they'll, maybe they'll bring in some new old people. Yeah. Some classic people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A lot of them are still around, so use them. You know, Eddie, yeah. Mur- Eddie Murphy. Do you follow watch? Uh, I follow Chevy Chase on TikTok. He posts a lot of stuff. Uh, I follow him on Instagram. Funny. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty funny. I don't know <laughs> what is that. Does he post videos on TikTok? Yeah. That's weird. Like he he'd be like like the autograph signing, and all of a sudden like uh, Randy Quay was showing. Oh, oh cousin yeah. Eddie. Yeah, I saw a photo oh, of the yeah, two the up? two of them hugging. I haven't seen you forever. He looks like shit. He does. <laughs> he really does. Dennis looks better than freaking. <laughs> well, I mean, Randy's got that. Randy's got that Unabomber look to him. Like he's been hanging out in shack. <laughs> yep. It's, it's not. It's not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. Um, quick. <laughs> it's fine. It's right fine. It it fine. Oh. So I heard a rumor. Uh oh. I hope it's not true. Yeah. Taylor Swift might be in the new Deadpool movie. I as, don't think so. Dazzler or whatever. X Men. 
I heard that rumor too. I don't think it's true. I hope not. The other rumor I heard is that the NFL mm. specifically specifically checked with her tour schedule before they assign Chiefs games. Really? That's what I heard. I don't know if it's true though. It's weird. Uh, well, she brought in a lot of ratings. They were like these young people. Yeah. Who were like, she might be on TV for 2.2 seconds. Ah! I need to watch. Which I don't understand. But. 400% increase. Nobody was really watching the Chiefs games anyway. So, might as well. Get what you can get, I guess. I guess one of the guys, um, Harrison, uh, Butker. Butker. Oh boy. He, he made a speech at a, at a college, and I guess it was uh, <coughs> not good. It wasn't. I don't know what the, uh, the uh, speech was, but. The speech was um, very misogynist. He okay. was basically like, I don't know why you women are bothering to get degrees because you should be in the kitchen and pregnant. Oh, shit. Yeah. He was like, you know, it, he just said some really awful stuff. Yeah, I was watching TMZ and, like, Travis, uh, Patrick, and um, Andy, the, um, the coach. Andy Reid, yeah. They, like, like, well, like, like, got his back. I'm like, okay. Why should I? <laughs> I, was I like, that is the worst back to have. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> I don't know <clears> the <throat> details. I'm like. That is not the back that, you that's want. That's our teammate, man. We got his back, you know. That's like, not, but that's not the back you want to have. Oh, that's gross. Really? Doesn't Patrick Mahomes have a daughter, too? Like, you're going to support somebody who says that that shitty stuff about women? I don't know. Listen, I know you're only the messenger, and I'm not trying to shoot <laughs> you, but I am just saying. Uh, um, ow. The new Beetlejuice trailer came yes, out. Yes, yesterday. What did you think of it? Oh, uh, I liked it. Better than the, the teaser trailer that they did. Yeah, they showed more stuff. Because we, we got a little bit more of, like, what's happening. Yeah, we know that the father passed. I was right about that. Yeah. I'm happy I was right about that. Now, isn't... Now, is, is he, he's still alive in real life, right? Jeffrey Jones is alive, yeah. How come when did they didn't bring him back as the, uh, as the father? Because he got in <laughs> trouble. Oh, for oh. having things on his computer that oh. a grown man shouldn't have. Oh, damn. Yeah. Well, then. Uh, indeed, well, then. Shame on you. Indeed, shame <laughs> on you. Um, so it, he really hasn't worked much since that happened. Guess not. No. So, um, but I, got, I like that we got a little bit more Michael Keaton. Yeah. In this, as as in his Beetlejuice get up, uh, I saw uh, Willem Dafoe briefly. I don't, Willem, know who, I don't know who he's gonna be. Willem Dafoe <coughs> creeps me out. Yeah, keeps everybody out. He creeps me out. He's that guy. Just in everything that he does, even if he's not trying to creep me out, he's creeping me out. Um, I'm a character actor. Aren't you? Somebody. Uh, nailed a screenshot and in of. S- of in in the Beetlejuice trailer. Okay. And somewhere in the background is Danny DeVito. Really? Yeah. Hmm. In like a ghoulish kind of makeup kind of thing. Hmm. Yeah. Cool. I was like, <laughs> oh shit. Danny DeVito. I said, I don't know if uh, what if anything. I know Johnny Depp's no longer in it. You thank God. We don't need Johnny Depp. I wonder who he's going to be. Who? John, I wonder his, what his character was going to be if they kept him in it. Maybe he was going to play the the husband. Uh-huh. The of... of um, Winona Ryder? Yeah, Winona Ryder. I always get her confused. Lydia. I always get her confused with Uma Thurman, and I have no idea why. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh, it, it looks good. Uh, it's... The, How many? What like? Uh, they show like the, the the statues. Like four more months, it comes out. Yeah, September. Yeah. Uh, I, it, it looks good. <laughs> Deadpool comes out in July. <coughs> July, really? Mm-hmm. 
Hmm. I think July. I mid July. The like problem 15th is. Or something like that. The problem is that the problem the, the that I incur mm-hmm. is that I used to have a movie theater like fifteen minutes away, and they tore it down. Yeah. Because somebody bought the land, and now I have to travel further. Ooh. And I don't like that. <laughs> so it's like I want to see the Deadpool movie. Right. Um, I'd like to go to the theater and see it. It's but it's like, oh, I what's gotta the, go to the what's theater. the closest one now? Well, I mean, I Bridge could go to Dartmouth. Dartmouth. That's like twenty minutes away. Okay. I don't really want to go to Dartmouth, <laughs> but I well, can. What about the one in Bridgewater? East Bridgewater? That's like a half an hour away. It'd be for me, easy for me to oh, go to Dartmouth. Okay. okay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I didn't go to your parents. It's, it's right up the street. <laughs> <laughs> so what? I have to I have to plan my movie thing around my the visits to my family. Sure. No. I'm, yeah. kidding. I'm kidding. Speaking of which, I um I was going through because I have a uh, a bit, bit of a sneaker collection. So I was going through and I weeded out a couple of you know pairs that had to go. Uh-huh. So then I said, well, well you no. You throw them out. No, I threw them out because they were, uh, uh, one of them was really ratty. I'm like, oh, uh, you got to go. Yeah. And uh, turn. <laughs> so I said, now that I have a couple vacancies, <laughs> let me go and see. Got to fill those vacancies. <laughs> let me hit the Adidas outlet and see what I can see. What'd you find? Um, I got a pair of, um, what are they called? What's the, the, the. The, the, no, it's it's called uh, the Campus, oh. I think. Like the ones I normally wear, are like the superstars. They just got gazelles. Uh, the, I have a pair of gazelles too. Gazelles. But like, uh, like a navy blue. <laughs> I think they call like Campus something the green. Yeah. Yeah. Then they're actually My, they're uh, like Adidas. The green, they're kind of like not fuzzy, but kind of like nice. Suede. Blue. Yeah, suedeish kind of. Swedish. Swedish. <laughs> it's Swedish. So I went in there, and um, I thought. Is there an Adidas store around here somewhere? Yeah, I had to go to rent them. Uh, outlets. <sighs> yeah. So I went. I popped in there, and it was. I didn't think it would be that busy, and I underestimated. Because <laughs> I thought I. That was my thing. I thought, like, people are still in school and stuff. Yeah. Well, some people graduated but, this week. Yeah, but it was like everywhere I went, there was a lot of people. <laughs> so I go into the store, and it's, I mean, it's not, like, shoulder to shoulder, but it, there's more people in there than I thought there should be. Damn. And I'm looking around, and uh, so I found that pair, and I'm like, all right. And it was, what was it? I was like, I don't know. 25% off the tag or something. I'm like, eh, it's okay. That's not bad. It's on sale. So I I scooped that pair up. Mm-hmm. And then I thought, oh, because I wear... <laughs> Might as well. No, well, because I wear a um, my New Orleans Saints hat. And I wear it a lot. It's a very comfortable hat. And I got it for free. Ooh. I know. If it's free, it's for me. Oh, yeah. So I was like, I know. How'd you get it for free? Because uh, Lids was doing like a buy one, get one. Oh. So I bought a New York hat, a uh, Giants hat, which is my favorite team. And then I saw, because you had to get one of like, whoa, Jesus, glitchy, glitchy. Because you had to get one of like lesser value uh, in order to get it for free. Equal or lesser value. Yeah. So they had the, the Saints hat. There you go. And... Uh, so I ended up getting it for free, and it's a com- it's a comfortable hat. I wear it all the time. Nice. Uh, what's funny is when people give me shit for it. Um, I've you know it's it's kind of middle road because I get a lot of shit when I wear giant stuff. Right. But I was like, oh, I didn't. I, I mean, I understand why because we took two Super Bowls from you. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but I was like, I know I'm not. It's not my fault. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> am I devious? Yes, I think I am. So, uh, I, I'm like, I gotta replace this hat. This hat's something kind of, cause I wear it all the time. Yeah. 
So I went to Lids. Seeing its age. <laughs> it is. So I went to Lids, and um, Lids. which is only um, at, at Rentham. It's like, I don't know, three blocks down. Oh. So I walked down, and it was hot as shit, too. But I walked down, and I walk into the store, and there's this guy behind the counter. <laughs> and he's like, hey, what are you doing? And I was like. Minding my business. I was like, nothing. What are you doing? And he's like. This is it. <laughs> and I said, okay. I said, well, be thankful you're in here. And he said, why? Like, I was crazy. And I said, well, it's hot out there. And he goes, is it? <laughs> and I said, yeah. But I couldn't tell if his is it, it was, was like, sarcastic. Because, like, he knew that it was hot. Or is it, like, he was really surprised that it was actually hot. Wow. So... The, 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 the problem that I encountered was um, I was browsing, mm -hmm. and they had, like, a whole wall of just, like, I call them novelty hats because they're just, like, brand hats. Like, they had that Mountain Dew hat, and they had, uh, right. you know, logo Ow. hats, which are fine, but they're not what I was there for. Nope. So, and they had a shit ton of, shit ton of basketball hats. Which, eh, I mean, if I could find a logo I liked, I would buy a basketball hat, but I didn't see anything. And huh. off in the back, on a little itty-bitty wall, was the NFL hats. And I was like, Damn. this is a scarce <laughs> inventory you have. At not one New Orleans hat, either. Oh. I was like, wow. I said, I guess. So then I, I was thinking about it in my head as Mostly I'm standing Patriots there. Hats. They had some, and they had a, a few Giants hats, but they were too high up. Oh. And I'm not going to, like, hey, man, can I look at that? I'm not going to... Hit the wall and just bounce off. <laughs> just punch the wall until all the hats fall down? Got it. <laughs> um, or a rock at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a grapple hook. <laughs> so, I don't know, he was talking on the phone to somebody, and... He couldn't be bothered with nah. being a salesperson, so do your job. Yeah, he didn't feel like it. I get it. It was hot, so I didn't really see anything. And then I was thinking about it, and I'm like, well, it is off season, so I guess it makes sense that they didn't have that much. And then I said, that's bullshit because there was just the draft, right? So people are gonna want to buy hats. Yeah. <coughs> I don't know. Did you watch the draft? No, but I follow the I follow the Giants online, so I was getting the notifications. But we signed so-and-so. Welcome them to the big blue. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't even know them. Are they good? Is that a good choice? Did you ever find that red jersey? The red jersey? The Giants red. They're like, oh. oh, they're on a great red thing. Oh, yeah, they're alternate. Yeah. The alternate red. They yeah. don't sell those. Oh, that sucks. It pisses me off. And then this this year, because it's their 100th Probably season. Probably in, in New York. No, I, I, maybe. And then this season, because it's their 100th season, they have a special alternative, and it's like a red, white, and blue. Nice. And I was like, oh, that looks nice. 100 years. Yeah, and then I went online, because I was like, oh, maybe I can get like a, um, what do they call it, Centennial? I don't know. I'm not good at that. Uh, the 100-year like hat or something. Like forty bucks. Century. Yeah. Damn. I was like, no, thank you. <laughs> I can get two for that price. Um, I think I'll wait till it hits the clearance. <laughs> when we hit hundred and one, then I can get 101. that. Yeah, then I get that cheaper. I mean, it just wasn't. It's not worth that much to me. Hmm. I know. Wow. Any anything else? I don't want to. I don't know why I want to talk about this, but. You don't want to talk about it? I said, I don't know if I should, but oh. Kevin Spacey oh. is, is making a comeback. Is he, though? That's the last one I heard. Objection. <laughs> <sighs> What's your thoughts? He's got, like, a bunch of, like, celebrities back him up. Thoughts. Like, Liam Neeson, uh, Sharon Stone. They're like, we can't wait for him to come back. It's like, okay. <sighs> Here's the thing. And I loved Kevin Spacey. And I was not happy. He gives a good impression. He does. And I was not happy to hear the things that I heard. What'd you hear? 
I just that he has acted inappropriately. And I don't know. I mean, I know that. I mean, we're not talking like little kids or anything, but that doesn't make it better. Right. It's like you're supposed to be professional on the set and not make people feel like, you know, they should do things if they want to keep their job kind of stuff. And Yeah, Dan Schneider. Oh, Jesus. Dan Schneider with his... Uh... Are you kidding? Exactly. <laughs> um, so I don't know. It, I just, I'm very conflicted about it. Yeah. Because I like him, but I don't, uh, and I don't, and I'm not, I don't, I'm not buying this whole, you know, and Har- what is that? Harvey Weinstein did it too, where as soon as stuff had started to get hot, they were like, oh yeah, I'm going to go off to a rehab. <laughs> because, get myself clean. Because clearly I'm inappropriate, because I don't know how to interact with human beings. So oh, let me, sudden. let me go to Didn't a. Didn't he like it is like sixties? Who? Weinstein. Ah, uh, he must be, if not early seventies. Kevin's in his probably fifties or sixties. Uh, Kevin, I think, is in his sixties now. Now. Uh, I don't know, but I, I was pissed off because I really liked House of Cards, and then he got fired from there, and they did that shitty season. I wouldn't even watch that season. Damn. Ugh. Awful. Awful. Subpar. Yeah, because I I was on... Poor um, excuse for a season. I was on uh, the HBO Max, Mm -hmm. and they had, like, a whole expose movie about Kevin Spacey. Did they? They do, yeah. I don't know what it... I don't remember what it's called. But I was was tempted to watch it. a documentary? It is. And I was tempted to watch it, and Jay's kind of looking at me, and he goes... Are you gonna watch that? And I said, uh, I'm not sure. I said I, I, it's bad enough. I know the things that I know. I don't want them to give me new information to make me weird it out about him. Right. Mm-hmm. His brother, because I, I know they had like a really horrible childhood, and that's nothing. You know, I'm not making excuses. Right. For him, um, but his his brother is a um, Rod Stewart impersonator. Oh, is he? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah well, my, my. <laughs> <laughs> Is he still alive, Rod Stewart? Yes. Oh, man. Yes, he's still trying. <laughs> <laughs> he's still trying. <laughs> That's funny. He's still trying. Why not? Keep going, Rod. <laughs> I had to, I had to text Sean today because um like when they made fun of him on South Park oh ah, yeah put my pants <laughs> yeah um what was it I texted Sean today because you remember that you remember that um documentary came out uh, must I think I feel like it was in the nineties maybe early two thousands called Super Size Me yeah with the Morgan Spur- Spurlock yeah you ate McDonald's for like yeah every day he died. Today. Yeah. Really? Oh my god. Yeah. I was like, oh my goodness. Not for me and McDonald. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not, I am. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was sick. <second>, like, <laughs> that, would, that would definitely like put like, you know <laughs> damper on freaking McDonald's freaking <laughs> profits. <laughs> this guy died because he eat McDonald's every day. Like, oh fuck. God! Damn! I don't even have. I don't even have a quote for that. That's how f- f- that was. <laughs> I it, no. Apparently, um, and I hate to speculate, but from what I understand, he did have a uh, a bit of an alcohol problem, mm-hmm. and that probably was a contributor. It was uh, last week we recorded, yeah. and then uh, you know everything went up perfectly, and then I went upstairs. And I was doing something, and I looked at my phone and found out Dabney Coleman had passed away. Yeah. And I went, Ugh. We were just talking about him, too. We were! <laughs> and I was like, oh, man. Cloak and Dagger. That's a great movie, 9 to 5. I love 9 to 5. I meant to watch it over the weekend. And I got distracted because Jay... He was in his 90s. He, he was 92. Wow. Yeah. Because Jay wanted to watch Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> 
So we ended up having to watch that. Yeah. But, moment of silence. Yep. Did uh, we have a winner last week, Joe? We did not have a winner for not. the movie quote, but we did have a winner for Sean's trivia, which was Yvonne. Hey! She wins one gift card to Dunkin' Donuts. The answer was uh, football. Oh. He, like, what do these movies have in common? It was football. Oh, okay. And my movie quote was Jack Reacher, but no one guessed it. Oh, dear. Tom Cruise. So, this week's quote is worth two gift cards. So. <laughs> I don't have a quote. <laughs> you don't have a quote. <laughs> I don't have a quote. I don't so have any win, trivia. You um, comment the name of the movie that I quote on the YouTube video. If you're first and correct, you win. Simple enough. No trivia this week because Sean's out. So next week he'll probably <laughs> give you two cards because he, he missed one. Oh, don't go throwing. We'll see. Don't go throwing <laughs> cards his way. You're gonna get them all. Oh goodness. Here's the quote. Okay. And remember. Go, Ninja. Go, Ninja. Go. Comment below. I <laughs> feel like I know what that should be. Yeah, I'll tell you off mic. You'll have to tell me off mic. I will. Oh, thank you so much for joining us. We will see you next time. Yes. <coughs> I knew I wouldn't be able to make it through the whole ending without a cough. Oh. Uh, before I send it down the table, here's your fun fact of the week. In Sweden... Ooh. Days between holidays and the weekend are called squeeze days. Squeeze. And people don't have to work on those days, making for a long weekend. Squeeze days. Squeeze days. We need some squeeze days. We definitely need some squeeze days. <laughs> have a great long weekend. Happy Memorial Day. <laughs> <laughs>